I think people hate because they're afraid. They're afraid of what's different from them. They're afraid because they don't, they just don't know other people. And I think that's how we overcome this is through personal relationships, through getting to know each other. I think people hate because they're just not aware. It's just lack of understanding, a lack of compassion. It starts from step one, which is bias and stereotypes of people. And then step two is acting on it, you know, calling it like Kung flu virus, a China virus, things like that, right? If we tolerate that, then it goes to the next step and so on and so forth. For someone to choose kindness in a situation where there's a lot of fear and hate, it takes a lot of courage. It all started with um, a Zoom call. My name is Sarah Chung. I, um, I live in Westport for the last 11 years. Before that, I was in Manhattan for a number of years. Um, right now, I am home with the boys. My boys are fifth grade and third grade, and um, I've been very much involved in the PTA at their schools, and so that's been consuming a lot of my time. My name is Kathy Wee. Um, I live here in Westport, and I've been here for almost eight years, and right now I am a stay-at-home mom to three children who are nine, seven, and four. My name is Patrick Conchanagam and I'm from Long Island, New York and right now I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have a 14-year-old, a 10-year-old and a 6-year-old. My name is Rosie John and I live in Westport with my husband and three kids. Um, I have one in middle school, one in elementary school and one in preschool. My name is Heather Lee and uh, we moved to Westport from Los Angeles 13 years ago and I am a school teacher. I think what's happening with Asian Americans now is it's nothing new. Um, unfortunately, Asians are seen as others or foreigners for, for a long time. Um, and I don't think people realize that we are very much a fabric of America and part of the history. It only got more notice because of the last four years, especially with the coronavirus happening last spring. These crimes are happening more, uh, more often now and, and probably in a more aggressive way than, than we've seen before. People are being attacked, elderly people, people are vulnerable um, in all sorts of places um, in our country. And I think the media is actually catching on reporting that more often. And I think people are more aware of what's going on. But in reality, it's actually been going on for a long time. It's still happening, like as we're speaking, you know, I, I get text messages from friends um, saying what they observed um, since last year and also more recently too. And uh, my kids were getting scared for their grandparents from what they see on social media and in the news. Um, so it's been very disturbing. People just, for some reason, feeling like it's okay to uh, discriminate and hate and be violent to Asian Americans right now. We have not been as vocal about uh, abuse and racist abuse that we've been suffering and I feel like that's coming to light now and I feel like through conversation, honest conversation, we can actually come up with solutions and, and move forward. As a parent, um, but also as a resident and citizen of this town and this country and this state, I just felt like I had to do my part to just stand up and do my part to stop this Asian hate. Like it has to stop. Now is the time to stand up. We kind of have the momentum, we have media attention. In light of all the other cultural changes I feel like that are happening in this country and the social change that's happening in this country. So it felt like it was the right moment for us to be a part of that as well. What galvanized us together was this feeling like we cannot be silent anymore. We cannot sit back and let these things happen to people in our community, uh, our Asian American community anymore, and we need to say something because 
Uh, we've been far too silent for far too long. We can't stop there. We have to do more. So we got together on Zoom calls. It got bigger and bigger and then we just kept going. Just, you know, reaching out to anybody we knew, making calls. People were, you know, reaching out on Instagram, Facebook. It was one of those moments where we're like, oh wow, there's a lot more of us than, than we expected. The event at Just a Green was on March 27th. Senator Blumenthal was there, Attorney General William Chong was there, State Representative Tony Huang was there, and a number of people that represented Westward and neighboring town were all there. We had some powerful testimonies from students as well, and their stories really spoke to a lot of people's hearts. We must stop Asian hate now. The response to the rally was amazing. There were somewhere between 300 to 400, maybe more, people that came out, you know, mostly West Porters. The event at Jessup Green um, became an event where we could bring the whole of Westport together and just stand united in this place of, yes, we know this isn't right, but we have every power to do something. I was a little blown away. I didn't think that many people would come, but to feel the support of our community was was amazing and to have that large turnout made me feel good about you know living here as an Asian American and knowing that our town supports us. We did this in about a week and we're very happy with the outcome. It is my hope that you will continue to use your platform no matter big or small to speak out and speak up for those who are being marginalized and being hurt. There is a lot more that we feel needs to be done. Asians have been so, I feel like, excluded from the race conversation for so long. I want people to see our humanity and that we are Americans too. Our hope is that going forward we can actually be that connector with whomever in the community that ever wants to learn about Asian American history. I'm hoping that we're moving in that direction where Everyone feels belonging, everyone feels valued. And we can like or dislike each other for the right reasons. <laughs> the fact that you're even asking me my thoughts on this as an Asian American, um, I, I just feel like that for me is a step in the right direction. There's so much more than just our race, our color, right? So start viewing people as people and get to know people as people and, and that Asians are Americans, and we have been for a long time. Just for one day